Hello, this is Carrie again, and I have another video for you today. Today, I'll be doing a review of Magical Dawn, which I got from a fan, um, Ninja Zen, um, a while ago, and I have been waiting to do this review until I finished a page on this book, and I realized I'm not going to finish a page um, in any time that I should have already done the review. So, I'm doing it now, and so I do apologize um, for the delay in getting this done, um, but you'll see when you see the pages, you'll see why I wanted to finish them. But anyway... Um, so this is the book. It's called Magical Dawn by Hannah Cazone. And this book has been out for a while now. Um, but um, I just got it thanks to um, a fan. So this is a book. And um, this was done with Albert Durer watercolor pencils. So that's what I did this one with. And um, let's see. So this is the page that I wanted to finish. And I really was hoping to finish this page. And I never did do this page. I did some things. Um, but I never really finished it all the way. So, um, so I do apologize for not having this done, um, until now, but I will go back to this and I will get this finished. Um, so anyway, so this book retails for, Amazon has it for $12.40, um, and it is eight and a half by 10 inches. Um, it's double-sided, it's hard bound, you can see that it's hard bound, and it's non-perforated. Now, I did uh, another book in this series, um, and there'll be a link up there to that book. Um, and this book is 96 pages, and you do get most of that in um, sort of very whimsical, very sort of different art um, than you see traditionally in a lot of books. Uh, but the flip side is, um, in, you know, in order to get um, so many pages of art, is that the page Pages are double-sided and um, I wish that they had been I mean I understand um, the sort of the choice to make it um, to make it um, at least hard bound um, and not perforated because that has been done um, by a few other people before but I, I personally um, do prefer at least the option of taking the pages out of the book um, and when it's hard round like this um, you can unbind it and I do have a video on how to remove the binding from your pages but I generally would not do that with a hard bound book I would just take it as is um, and note that like as I was getting it that you know this is not a book where you're going to be able to take out the pages and you're just going to have to work accordingly so that's why I ended up doing with wet media on this book and I found that um, out of all the different wet media that I have is that uh, paints work really well on this surprisingly as long as you don't do like a lot of thick layers um, as well as uh, ink tents also does really well um, Albert Durer does less well because this is a very smoothish kind of paper um, and it has less tooth and um, Albert Durer is a slightly harder pencil then the ink tents, I really like these mushrooms. Um, and since it's a, it's a slightly harder pencil, um, it does require a, um, a, a paper with a little bit more tooth. Um, however, um, I still really enjoy the book and I still have been having a lot of fun with both this one and the other one in the series that I have. And I think there's one or two others um, from the series. Uh, I really like all the jewels and the gems and I have very limited experience doing jewels and gems. Um, so something like this gives me a chance to really uh, practice on uh, something like that. So, um, so I'm super excited about that and super excited about a chance to practice on that. And the book is kind of, it's, you can see that it's kind of big. So I have to keep, you know, uh, I can't show you all at once. Even when I pull my tripod out, I still can't show it to you all at once. Um, so I decided to go in a little bit closer than I normally would just so you guys can see um, the page that I have half completed. Um, I believe these are tattoos, which is homegirl got some serious tattoos. She's not even playing. Look, look how serious she is with her tattoos. Um, anyway, so um, there's a lot of, you know, building art. There's a lot of gems. Um, just things that I feel like I don't necessarily see in a lot of coloring books. So for me, this is really interesting and this is a lot of fun. And it's easy to see why her books are so popular because of just the difference um, in terms of what's here versus what you typically see in a lot of coloring books. Um, that's pretty cute. Magic forest. Uh, well, it's not really forest. It's, you know, it's a couple of... A couple of trees, but still, it's a really cute idea. I love this um, this nose piercing. Um, and she's uh, once again, the, the women in this book are serious about their tattoos. They're not even playing. Um, you know how I am. 
like I don't have any tattoos or anything like that because I am too scared to go under the needle um, and I feel like I'm in pain like when I give blood <laughs> you know like when you donate blood I feel like I have enough pain doing that like I don't know if I could handle getting a tattoo all right that's totally off topic anyway um, so there's a lot of I guess this is a king and queen bird um, it's really cute uh, I like these two um, this snake which this is the kind of thing where you go in with paint and you just go in with, you know, like an ink tents and you make a couple of separate washes and you just do it, you know, different ones at a time. Um, I could probably do a page like that, something tedious, um, like that, just like a fun page. My friend Amy would enjoy that. Some uh, gems inside of a seashell. Let's see here. You got another lady with feathers. She is, she is serious about her feathers. Look at all these feathers. Um, you could totally do this. This is a lot of fun. Um, okay, you got you got sea uh, anemones growing out of the gems. That's not, that's serious right there. Um, this is the frog from earlier that I was doing practicing with the ink tents. Um, I know some some places will print like there's a few artists who do that will print the same image on the front and the back, and I'm not a fan of that. I like having different images if you're gonna make it double sided. Um, I like having, you know, a lot of different images to choose from. In this case, I would probably just do the whole book uh, instead of doing just a little bit, you know, just doing one section and then another. Um, in this case, I would just do the entire book. <laughs> like, I, I wouldn't even, since I can't pull the pages out anyway, I would just not even just, like, choose and just keep going. Um, I love the cat. This reminds me a little bit of... Um, uh, Miyazaki in terms of like my neighbor Totoro and things like that. Um, so this was that's what this one reminds me of a little bit uh, Let's see here. This is more sea creatures and gems and jewels um, Insects too. This is a perfume box um, I ran out of my perfume and I still haven't gotten around to getting the replacement um, This was also done with um, ink tents and I did not finish this although I know exactly what colors I used um, I did not finish this, but I will finish this one. This is another one that is a work in progress. You see what you see? That's probably why I haven't finished a single page because I got so many work in progresses. And I was supposed to commit myself to only having one work in progress at a time. But clearly, I have not kept true to my promise to myself to only do one page at a time. Um, so I'm going to have to. Re oh, here's another one. This one was done with um, Albert pens. So there's that one that was done with the. Albert pens and this was done for a review of the Albert pens so as you can see I'm not finished with that one yet uh, let's see here this one is really pretty I like this one a lot there's this one here so there's a lot of really really beautiful sort of interesting art um, this is a great one for practicing your skin tones if you're not comfortable doing skin tones um, if you want to practice your skin tones, like, again, because this is a smoother paper, I would use something like a Prismacolor or a softer pencil than the, or even the Luminance. I would definitely use something softer than the Polychromos. Um, however, you know, um, however, this is, a, this would be a good book for practicing your skin tones because you don't really have to get them perfect in order to, um, have a really nice image, um, and have some really, really nice pictures done. So, um, so there's this, um, I don't, it's, it's always weird when a book is double-sided because I don't want to go too slow, but I don't want to go too fast either. Um, so I hope that I'm giving you guys a chance to see all of the pages in this book. And this is just a really, really fun book. And I'm so glad, um, Ninja that you sent this to me, uh, because this is just really enjoyable. And there's just so much here. There's a lot of depth here, um. And there's a lot of chance for you to um, add your own whimsy to the to the book. This is a book where um, I talked about it in the most recent review that I did for um, Jasmine Beckett, um, where she used a lot of different tones of lines. So there were light lines, there were dark lines, and there were medium lines. And I think this is a book that would have really benefited from that, um, where not all the lines are the same are the same darkness, and this allows you to. Um, put in your own detail. And this is the kind of book that I think would really benefit from that. So I hope that her future books um, sort of adapt that 
um, that new addition to the coloring world. And I think this is the last one. This is a little gem inside of Apple. It's so cute. Um, so that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I think it's hilarious that this is so different than the one that I chose to do. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions, if there's anything you want to know. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Stewie. Stewie. Hey, buddy. Baby Stewie. You look fat.